that over and over in my heart if my people then I will you know 
one of the one of the things that I'm so grateful for about our community is that is that if if we've established our house on one thing, it it is it is being a house of prayer. It is being a local church. A local church that morning, noon, and night ministers to the Lord. And if there's a people that have been groomed to fulfill this scripture, I believe there's a number of communities that are being groomed to do it, but Upper Room as your pastor, I believe we are these people. There's a reformation, I believe, coming to the church, a reforming of things. And I believe that the coming days, we've got to be these people, praying people, people that know how to establish an altar of prayer at our homes, people that know 2 Chronicles 6 and 7 are the lifestyle that we live. When this happens, we respond in this way, and the Lord acts on our behalf. And beloved, I want you to know it's more than a service. It's more than a sermon. It's more than a stream. This has to be a lifestyle that we live. If my people, it's not just a one-time transaction. It is a daily lifestyle where we're living with hearts that are tuned to the voice of the Lord. And we are those people called by his name, that we are walking in humility, that we are walking in communion and union, speaking what we hear. I believe the course of history will be shaped by the house of prayer. That this is the church's greatest hour to come unto the Lord, to hear what the Lord is saying. And I believe He's going to pour out His Spirit. If, my people, we are those people. You are that person. Your family is that family. Your house is that house that we are those people. We're that today. We're that tonight. We're going to be that in the morning. We're going to be that tomorrow evening. We're going to be that Tuesday morning. We're going to be that Tuesday evening. That this is a new day to get into new cycles, to get into new rhythms so that we can be those people. If my people, you are that person. We are those people. And the Spirit of God is knocking on our hearts. The Spirit of God is beckoning us to come unto the holiest of holies to boldly come before the throne of grace so that he can meet us he can meet our families he can meet our neighbors he can meet our city he can meet our states he can meet our nations in the time of need this is the moment this is the hour of crisis and I believe the Lord is going to turn the tide I believe that this curve is not only going to flatten but it's going to decrease in the name of Jesus Father intervene Lord intervene Lord I pray that the tide turns this week Holy Spirit we look to you Lord from where our help comes from may houses of prayer emerge across the nation may your home be a house of prayer may you go into the closet may you seek your father in secret and may he reward you may you find gold may you find oil And may he act on behalf of our supplications and petitions. And may he pour out his spirit. And I believe the church is going to emerge as the answer in this hour. That people like you, people like us, are coming forth with fire in our eyes, with seal in our hearts, with love of burning. Oh, that we would arise to be the answer, to meet the needs, physical needs, medical needs, nurses, doctors, medical workers. Agents of healing. May revival come as it seemingly is getting darker. May the church get brighter as we come forth from the closet of intercession. Priests clothed in holiness. I've been with him. I've seen him face to face. I know him. I know what he looks like. I know what he's saying. I know his name. And may we be conduits of his mercies, of his compassions. For those on the front lines, we pray strength. We pray faith. We pray the Lord would extend his grace to you in this season for mothers, or for wives and 
husbands of workers that are on the front lines. We pray great grace to your family. We pray that the favor of God would protect you, that the favor of God would would protect and provide for you in the name of Jesus. We pray for an outpouring upon your family. We pray that his word would source you, that he would be your daily bread in the midst of whatever crisis you're facing in the name of Jesus. Just feel that for workers in this hour, for medical workers. You, Jesus, are acting on our behalf. Come on. This is its bigger than our theologies. It's bigger than what church we go to. It's bigger than who our pastor is. It's getting plugged into the Holy Spirit. It's going into the secret place and beholding his face. If my people who are called by my name will seek my face. Lord, we're coming after your face. Yes. It's more than you acting out. Yes cutting off a pandemic. It's us beholding your face, Lord. It's us seeing you rightly. It's us knowing your voice, Lord. Come on, beloved. Come into the secret place. Go into the closet. Go into the bedroom chamber. Buy oil. Find fire. Since the burn, he's beckoning us. He's saying, come unto me. I have fire in my eyes. I have zeal for this moment. I'm not moved, I'm not swayed, but would you hear from me? Would you declare what I'm declaring? Would you say what I'm saying? Oh, beloved, it's in love that he's beckoning us. It's in love that he's correcting us. It's in love that he's calling us out into the place of sorrow, into the place of suffering. Would you come unto me in Gethsemane? Would you allow me to feed you? Would you allow me to meet with you?
I pray, Holy Spirit, that this is this is an awakening. Lord, that you would commission us into the secret place, that you would take us deeper as a people in this moment. It's like a global Gethsemane. Yes. And Lord, may we not be found sleeping. And that may this not just be a moment that we want to pass by and to get through and get over and get back to normal. But Lord, I pray that we can share, Lord, in your sufferings in this moment and that Holy Spirit, you will touch our hearts. You will transform us, Lord, in this moment, this week. Holy Spirit, that we would be aware of this part of our week where you commissioned us into the secret place. But that we would get our word, the word, and we would get time and get isolated with you. Find you. Come unto you. Hear, Lord, what you're saying and sensing. We love you, Jesus. We trust you. Amen.